Hello, I'm Jackie Moore, Professor of Marketing and Innovation at the University of Montana. My main area of expertise is in studying how businesses harness the power of technological innovations to grow and deliver value to their customers. I had the privilege of teaching at the IEDC-led School of Management in May 2019, and I found it to be a wonderfully creative and dynamic environment filled with vibrant people and energy. A key technological innovation companies are grappling with today is data analytics. In this 15 minute webinar, I will introduce you to the content of the upcoming seminar in May, Business Analytics for Managers. This is module two in the Advanced Digital Transformation Program. Companies realize that there is value to be found in data analytics. In the seminal Harvard Business Review article by McAfee and Bryn Yolfson, their study showed companies in the top third of their industry in the use of data-driven decision-making were 5% more productive and 6% more profitable than their competitors. Clearly big data offers the potential to transform business. Yet studies show that a majority of companies fail to succeed in their data science initiatives. So the question is, how can companies successfully harness this value? A first challenge that has been identified in the literature is that the lexicon of data science is thrown about casually in business, but there is a lacking of a shared understanding of the dimensions of data science. And without this shared understanding, it's easy for communication to go sideways. So one of the first tasks in the seminar in May is just to provide a basic foundational understanding to ensure that when we use these terms that we're all using them in the same way. In addition, studies show that there are many gaps between the potential value of data and how companies use that. As you can see here, many companies are swamped with a growing supply of data which doesn't match their ability to use that data effectively. And as a result, the potential value that data can provide is not realized by many companies. And these gaps are exacerbated by the way technical personnel communicate and the way decision makers communicate. And bridging that gap is also a key component that needs to be addressed. Interestingly, a study by McKinsey in 2018 showed that there are three categories of analytics users. And by users, I mean companies. Companies classified their, excuse me, respondents classified their company by whether they had a significant use of analytics to drive innovation initiatives in their company compared to those that relied on data very minimally. And then there was a middle group that used some data to support existing business initiatives. As you can see from this breakout, only 20% of companies reported a significant use of analytics in driving their business growth. A full one third reported only limited capabilities and the remaining approximately 50% used analytics to track and support existing KPIs, but they felt like they weren't getting the full value. It's interesting to see that the challenges in harnessing the power of data analytics can be both technical as well as managerial. But this slide shows that the managerial challenges oftentimes are the most significant. As a result, in the webinar today, I'll be talking briefly about what these challenges are 
as a way to explain what some of the topics are that the seminar in May will be covering. The first challenge identified consistently, and I'm pulling these uh, quotes today from an article in McKinsey, 10 red flags signaling your analytics program will fail, is that many executives do lack a good understanding of advanced analytics. And as a result, it's very difficult to have the leadership and vision that is required at the top the solution is to help leaders not only understand those advanced analytics, but also to help them build a formal strategy for developing that capability in their organizations and then scaling it. In the seminar in May, we will be spending a devoted chunk of time to developing a formal strategy based on a vision for analytics in your company. A second challenge is with respect to the talent on the data science team. There's a really nice article in the Harvard Business Review titled, Don't Let Big Data Bury Your Brand. And the quote is, the numbers get you only so far. After that, it's about getting the people right. And to that, I would add these communication skills that are so critical. We will be talking in the class in May about a tapestry of skills that are required for an effective data analytics team. And one of those key skills that we'll be highlighting is the role of the data translator that builds the bridge between the technical aspects of data science and the business execution of those insights. A third key challenge identified consistently is how to structure the data analytics initiative. The article, uh, Building the AI Powered Organization in Harvard Business Review in 2019 discusses using a hub and spoke system to help deploy the data science initiatives in the business units where they can add the most value. So we will be talking about the pros and cons of various structural approaches to data science and how that affects the ability to successfully harness the insights. A fourth challenge consistently identified revolves around the ethical, social, and regulatory concerns. Any seminar on data analytics would be missing a key component if we didn't explicitly address data privacy, data security, governance, and stewardship. This will be part of the course where we talk about privacy policies, the extent to which they provide a clear and transparent way for your organization to move forward, and then how it translates into the trust advantage in using data. A fifth challenge consistently identified is not just the strategy and structure of a data science team, but the culture of data-driven decision-making that permeates the organization. And again, this quote from Why Data Culture Matters, a McKinsey article says that the human aspect is the biggest obstacle, not the technology piece. And this is the obstacle to realizing the value that data analytics can offer. And again, culture is established at the top. So we'll revisit the role of leaders in establishing a data-driven decision-making culture, and then how that helps diffuse the data insights throughout the organization. Clearly people are motivated by internal processes and reward systems. And that also is a key element of culture that signals what values and beliefs and behaviors are valued. And then again, this infrastructure that is based on technology 
that allows the democratization of using the data. Culture is so important that I wanted to highlight an additional aspect about culture. The article Building the AI Powered Organization clearly explicates the leader's role in cultivating a data-driven culture. And I pulled out just a couple insights that resonated with my experience in working with companies in this regard. That this existential imperative of either using data or failing is very compelling. The cost of building a data science team is high. The value is latent and the ROI is not known. Yet the opportunity cost of not investing in that data science capability does doom a company to failure ultimately. And so overcoming this existential imperative means that the strategy to help develop this culture can be somewhat paradoxical. And I highlight, highlighted just a few paradoxes here. This idea of aligning AI initiatives with the very cultural values that seem like obstacles. For example, taking a team that perhaps their working knowledge and skills and capabilities are actually threatened or undermined by artificial intelligence, according to this article, is actually the place where the company should start. And again, that's a paradox. This article also has evidence that shows that when companies spend as much of their data science budget on training, integration, and adoption as they did on the technological infrastructure leads to a more fully based data-driven capability. And all of this requires balancing feasibility, the investment, and the time to realize that investment. Ultimately, the objective is to reach what Ibrahim Goskin, I'm not sure if I'm saying his name correctly, who was the data analytics uh, kind of visionary at Maersk, the shipping company. I love this quote. Now that our data is democratized, we see a lot of oxygen in the organization, a lot of excitement about what is possible and the innovation that's possible. Because data applied to business problems creates innovation. And now our people have the ability to act on their innovative ideas and create value. So this is the ideal that I would like us to achieve after the seminar that you will be taking with me in May. More specifically, the seminar will cover learning best practices to lead your data science initiatives, building a strategy to harness data analytics, creating a data-driven culture, and importantly, avoiding the risks and the unintended consequences that we do see traps companies as they move forward. Um, so we'll examine those risks. Now, I have to tell you, I cannot promise that you too will ride away on magic flying unicorns after the seminar, but I can promise that you will gain valuable knowledge to guide your teams. You will learn from case studies and generally have the opportunity to interact with your peers to learn how their companies are addressing these challenges. I look forward to the opportunity to teach again at the Bled School of Management, although in a virtual format this May. Thank you.